Another day, as you say. Another day, another cigar. What are you smoking? One of my favorites is uh, Dunbarton Trust Red Meat Lovers. Very nice. I'm going to have a little bit of Macallan here. That's why I forgot to grab. Yeah, that's okay. We'll grab it next time. And a little uh, Ashton Mini Cigarillo before we start the podcast. This episode, we are talking about, well, first of all, we're doing Cigar Olympics, which was a previous episode we did that YouTube felt so inclined to remove. So we're going to redo it and uh, talk about the whole Trump and Elon interview on space, spaces, space. Are you going to do the uh, Cigar Olympics with a cigarillo? I think I'll lose if I do that. Is the wrong end? Essentially, I don't know what the right end is. I don't think it really doesn't end. probably matter. Essentially, the competition is we all get the same cigar. We all light it up at the same time. You get one light, and you try to keep the cigar burning the longest. So basically, the last one that's still smoking wins the Cigar Olympics and gets the gold medal. And uh, I guess three of us will get medals. Uh, one of us won't. Essentially, I think if the if the cigar has a good light and a good combustion to it, all I have to do is light it and sit there for an hour. That that is true. And uh, I just won. We will be smoking base of cigars. The twist is they're gonna be fresh from the factory, so it might throw us off a little bit. We'll see what happens. But base has always been a very very consistent cigar. So I don't foresee any issues. I think we're going to be able to go till the end, really. Um, since it's, since this episode was scrubbed off YouTube, um, we don't really know who won last time, so I guess we're just going to say it's a uh, fair, uh, a first time. This is the first official Olympics, too, because it's 2024, so the last one was just a practice run. This time is for all the marbles. Um, there will be no breakdancing, from what I've told. Uh, breakdancing is officially not going to be in the Olympics anymore, so. I don't even know how that got there in the first place. That was pretty ridiculous. I feel like, like, nowadays, if someone can, like, get someone to film them, now it's a sport. Pretty much. If you have, uh, your own film crew, you can do anything. I'd rather be, like, chess in the Olympics before breakdancing. You know, that's a good point. You know, like, real. Cause that's, that's like. Strategy. But that's also, like, a clear cut competition. Breakdancing is like, to me, like, so stuff like that, like ice skating, like all that stuff, like, I know that there's a certain way to judge, but it's more objective than like, you scored more points than I did, or you won the match and I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not over time, so it's like, no joke. Yeah, I just don't get the whole, the whole judging thing. When, when you have, when you have a sport that requires judges, it's a little iffy. Fighting is a sport that technically considers judges. That makes, I guess, a little more sense though, because it's based on like how many hits you get and stuff. I'd rather be judges instead of just everyone getting a trophy. That's true. You know, that is true. <laughs> Very good point. Very good point. That that is definitely a bad alternative. We don't want that. So depending on who you vote for in this election, either we're all getting a trophy, which means nothing, or we can actually fight to win something that matters. Like, I'm still shocked that we have breakdancing before kickball in the Olympics, you know? Yeah. that That's more of a sport than breakdancing. Because the kickball... It's basically baseball with your feet. Yeah. It's heavier than a baseball, and it's harder to throw, but you're kicking it instead of smacking it with a bat. Like, it's softball. Well, yeah, you got to, like, roll it. Yeah, you have to roll it, too. It's like bowling, baseball. Is there softball in the Olympics? To, to I fact, don't know. The fact that we don't know, we have to ask you this question before it's break irrelevant. dancing. Yeah, it is, but break dancing should be relevant. I mean, they have handball in the Olympics, but that's actually more of a sport too. Old school. That's fun. basically soccer with your hands. So everyone's a goalie, including the goalie. Imagine they have like chiefing a cigar in the Olympics. Exactly. You know, that's why gonna... we're starting it. We're going to start the first committee. That regulates cigars 
in terms of competition in the United States so we can go to the Olympics. They did it for breakdancing. And that Ray Gunn from Australia made herself the head of the committee in Australia. Look where that got them. I'm sure we could do better. So you mean tell me if I invent my own sport and say it's a sport, I'm ahead of my own committee. Therefore, I'm my own judge. We can promote our new sport into the Olympics yes. to 2028. I don't see why not. I think 2028 too is going to be in Los Angeles. Or not Los Angeles, but California. Damn. Why can't it be like a Utah? Yeah, so Las like Vegas. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be for the most part. I don't know what city it's going to be, honestly. How are you going to fit all those people in Las Vegas? Or Los Angeles? I don't think it's going to be Los Angeles. Yeah, I, I don't think, think, I don't think so, yeah. But, it's very packed. Well, because they had the last one in Paris, but the spread of all the different events, I mean, it was all over. Um, but yeah, long story short, we're going to be pushing for cigars to be in the Olympics. And this is basically our trial or our... Um, Submission. Why can't you have people like roll cigars and time them? I think that would be a nice feat to watch. True. You're timed, but you're also judged on the quality. So you can't just do it, like it's not whoever's fastest, but it's also whoever, whoever can do it fastest and still have like a presentable cigar. It's like, it's like baking a cake. That smokes well. Yeah. Exactly. You can't bake a cake in 10 minutes. Too soon, never rose. Too late, the center's dried out. And exactly. Disgusting. So you'll be judged based on time, but if you do it too fast and it sucks, you'll end up losing based on the bracket we haven't invented yet. But let's say you're in the middle in terms of time, but you have the perfect cigar, you might end up winning. So it's two parts, rolling the cigar and then you're judged based on the consistency. So judges, I don't know, let's just say me, for example, will sit there and take the cigar and smoke it and judge it based on his performance. And may the best man win. That would be a spoiler right there. We can have Z from Cordoba Morales in the Olympics. He would be like the team leader for USA. Is it just cigar rolling? What else could we do? Hmm. Obviously smoking, rolling, Good question. Let's make sure Mark's not texting. What else could we do? Maybe like um, <laughs> whoever can fill up the most lighters in like three minutes. And they have to be like a Saint Dupont. Yeah, the ones where you have to like unscrew yeah. the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll have so many sports. Um, or, you know what we could do? Scratch scratch all that. We start a new Olympics where it's every sport, but you have to smoke a cigar while you're doing it. So, like, you're playing soccer. With a cigar And you mouth. score a goal. And your cigar is in your mouth, but not lit. It doesn't count. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good point. Exactly. So every sport, whatever it is, you have to have a cigar basically lit and it's being smoked at all times. I like that. There's a lot we can do here. But, oh, my thing's unraveling. Look at this. See, that would lose the, cigar- the cigarillo rolling competition. Otherwise known as the blunt Rolling competition. <laughs> They're interchangeable. The legal blunt. <laughs> They're interchangeable. But yeah. March should be arriving shortly, I presume. And then we're going to get started here shortly. So until next time, Alex and Jared, see you later.